penny coins, few people know what to look out for. These coins are worth a lot more money than you may imagine, and typically it is a small detail that means the difference of a lot of money. So let's hop right into this video. First up, we have a 1960 coin that sold for $400. That's right, guys. Let's check out this 1961 cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. So there's two big things here, actually three. One, the grade. Grade is so important when it comes to the value of your coin. Pretty much condition is very, very important. Two, this is a small date variety. Now pay close attention. This coin comes in either a small or a large date. Now depending on the condition and if it's a small or a large date can dictate the value. So look at the difference here. We're going to show you a diagram. Lastly, this is a red coin. If you're unfamiliar with that, penny coins can either come in red, red, brown, or brown, depending on the type of metal it's struck on and environmental conditions. Pretty much what you need to know is that red is the best for the most part, not always. Because of all these things, this coin sold for $400. Here we have another red coin. This is a 1961D one cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. Now that's only three points away from the perfect grade of 70. Like I said before, condition is very important on these coins. This one does have that D mint mark below the date there, standing for the Denver mint where this coin was produced. $960 for this coin. Here we have a 1959 one cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 plus red that sold for $2,520. Now keep in mind, when a coin does not have a mint mark like this one, most of the time that means it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, just like this one. So this coin has a plus designation after the grade, which was given by a grader, pretty much saying that the coin is really nice for what it is. Keep in mind, depending on how many coins were produced for a specific mint run and date will dictate the supply and demand for that specific coin. Collectors love collecting coins that are in really good condition and have a low production run. That's a good rule of thumb. Now, a lot of the time, San Francisco minted coins have the lowest mint run and they're worth the most money. So you would see that with an S mint mark below the date. This one was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, like we said, and it sold for 2520 bucks. Now, this coin sold for $2,520 as well, but it's a 1972 one cent coin created by PCGS at a mint state 67 with a doubled die obverse, or DDO as some people call it. Now, you can have a double die obverse, which means the front, or a double die reverse, which means the back of the coin. You can see at Ingal we trust at the top, Liberty at the left, and the date at the right. We have some pretty clear doubling. Now, that occurs when the hub that strikes these pieces of metal is doubled, causing this variant to occur. Now, if you want to sell a coin like this or any rare coin, we recommend doing the following. Do your own homework and research. Make sure you try to get the full value of the coin. And to do that, you want to get the opinion of at least three different people, specifically people with a lot of coin knowledge. Now, you can do this by going to physical locations near you and see how much that they would pay for your coin. Now, if they all say the coin's not worth a lot of money, just trust them because they're probably telling you the truth. Don't give them a hard time, please. These coin shop owners get people coming in all the time that think they have a rare coin. Or what you can do is you can send us a photo from the comfort of your home. We'll respond within 24 hours. We have a great community. All you got to do is click the link below, but you don't have to do that. What we recommend is continuing to do the homework and research required to see how much these coins are worth. Then you can go through the process of grading your coin if it makes sense and selling it on Heritage or eBay to get the most value. But let's go to the next coin. Coin, 2760 bucks for this 1983 one cent double die reverse coin graded by NGC at a mid state 68. So like we were saying before, coins like this can either have a DDO or DDR. This one's a DDR, meaning double die reverse. You can see United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum at the top center, and one cent at the bottom there all have some pretty clear and apparent doubling. Sometimes you'll need some sort of magnification or USB microscope to easily see the doubling occurring here because this coin graded only two points away from 70. It sold for $2,760. One of our favorite types of coins when it comes to the variants. This is a 1992 D one cent coin graded by NGC at a mint state 65 red and it sold for $3,120. Now keep in mind, guys, I say this a lot of the time, but this one got the 65 grade. Every point difference matters. If it was to get the 66 grade, it's going to be worth around $3,900. If it was to get the 67 grade, it would be worth close to $5,000. So every point more will increase the value of the coin. This one has what's called a close AM. So if you look closely at America at the back top right of the coin, this coin comes in two different varieties. You have the close AM and the wide AM. Now, depending on your specific coin, it can increase or decrease the value of the coin. Pretty much what's important to know here is that this isn't close AM coin. It's a very highly graded coin by NGC and it's 
sold for 3120 bucks. Beautiful coin here that sold for $3,480. This is a 1990 one cent coin. You can see right off the bat that the coin does not look like your average coin. That's because this is called a proof coin. Now proof coins were produced with the intention of not going out into circulation. By that we mean pocket change. If you find this coin when you're shopping, the conditions is probably going to be destroyed. Your best bet is to find a coin like this in an estate sale or a collection or if a friend or family member gave you a collection, you want to be looking out for this coin because this coin should typically have an S mint mark. Now really quick, let me show you the difference between a proof coin and a business strike coin. You can just pretty much see that the field or backdrop of the coin is very shiny. It looks like a mirror almost, but a lot of the time these proof coins are actually minted at the San Francisco Mint, so they should have an S mint mark. Now there's plenty of proof coins out there that were minted at the San Francisco Mint. There's plenty of proof coins that do not have an S mint mark, but they are genuine proof coins. What you need to know here is that this coin from 1990 should have had an S mint mark, but it does not. So if you have a proof coin from 1990 that has no S mint mark, just like this coin, you have a coin with a lot of money because $3,480 for this one. Pretty cool. $4,200 for this 1970 S one cent large date double die obverse coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 red. So why did this coin sell for $4,200? A few things. First of all, the date. This is a large date. So pretty much this coin comes with a large date or a small date. We're going to show you a diagram here. You can pause the video if you want, take a picture, do whatever you got to do. This coin is a doubled die obverse. So the obverse or the front of the coin has some pretty clear and apparent doubling happening. This one might be harder to see to the untrained eye. That's why you may need to have some sort of magnification helping you out there. But this one got a very high grade out of 64. That's why it sold for $4,200. $4,320 for this 1961 proof graded by PCGS 69. The grade is the heavy hitter on this coin. Typically not going to be worth this much money, but because this proof coin graded very highly, it sold for $4,320. $18,000 for this coin that sold recently. And remember, even if you're watching this video a year, two years, three years, five years from now, it doesn't matter because if anything, a coin like this is actually going to be worth more money. This coin graded by PCGS and AU58. That's actually not the best. That means almost uncirculated. So this coin went out in pocket change before someone noticed it and brought it back into their collection and sold it for a lot of money. This is a DDO coin you can see in Gobby Trust at the top. Liberty at the left and the data at the bottom right there it has some pretty clear and apparent doubling happening. If you have a 1969 DDO coin like this, you're in for a real treat, guys. Keep it safe because $18,000 for this one. Do you want to send pictures of your coins to us? Click on the link below to join and we'll see you in the next video.